thing that we are going to study about quantizer is the quantizer situation generally he, when we talk about the uh, quantizer uh, there is some difference between the input and output which is basically the rounding of error which is uh, again referred to as the quantizer noise now if uh, the range uh, for which this difference between the original value and the uh, rounded off value is small we call this range of input as the active range of the quantizer uh, so if your input is uh, in between this range then definitely you are dealing with the quantizer noise but there are certain cases when the input exceeds this range uh, and as a result of this exceeding and uh, the difference between the input and output becomes large uh, which means there will be a larger amount of error uh, when we are talking about the quantization process so when this phenomena occurs where the difference between the input and output is large uh, fundamentally because of signal exceeding the input range this is known as a quantizer saturation so if i look uh, if i go to this slide so let's say over here uh, if i am having the last uh, quantizer quantization level at 3.5 so let's say if my signal exceeds this 3.5 and let's say i am getting something like uh, 7.5 at any given instant of time and i want to round off this value 7.5 to uh, the nearest possible values then definitely it is only possible to round it off to 3.5 so if I calculate the difference of 7.5 with 3.5, it is approximately 4 volts. <coughs> and this will uh, be increasing if I go uh, beyond 7.5. So in principle, uh, if I am dealing with the quantizer saturation, it means that I am having a value that is way beyond the uh, active range, uh, active input range of the quantizer and because of which uh, there is a large amount of noise because I have to uh, round it off to a nearest possible values and uh, due to limitations the nearest possible values is uh, quite far away from its original values so this condition is basically known as the quantizer saturation now uh, what can we do about uh, uh, this quantizer saturation uh, one very common way of preventing or in fact avoiding quantizer saturation is use of the automatic gain controller uh, and automatic gain, gain controller is nothing but a device that adjusts the input signal to limit its operating range so this is the quantizer saturation so now if I may ask uh, among quantizer sat saturation and quantization noise which one will cause the more degradation then the straight answer to this question is that quantization saturation will cause more degradation as compared to quantization noise.